What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here. Today we have very good news about jailbreaking on iOS 16.0 all the way up to iOS 18 on all devices. So a lot of things happened in the past couple of weeks and we got Troll Store finally for iOS 17 with Troll Restore. But this Troll Restore release also included something very important, a brand new exploit kind of thing that allowed many applications for customization to pop up for all devices on iOS 17, on iOS 18, iOS 16. And while I do have a full guide on how to install Troll Store on iOS 17 using Troll Restore, less known tools were able to be made using the same mechanism that powers Troll Restore. For example, Misaka X that allows you to enable various tweaks and hidden features on your iOS device and it supports iOS 16 up to iOS 18 on all devices, but also various on-device variants of Misaka X and Nugget and stuff like that. Check this out for example, here on this device I have two of these brand new applications that were released and one is Sparsebox and the other is Mikoto X. Mikoto X is essentially the same as Misaka X, but on device. This one allows you to do the same modifications, but on device. You can enable dynamic island, you can change the charge limit, you can enable the boot chime on all devices, disable the shutter sound, enable stage manager, Apple Pencil support. You can enable Apple intelligence, tap to wake on iPhone SE, get information on internal storage and stuff like that. You can apply the changes right away on your device without even using a computer. While Misaka X does require a computer, but has more features. The same thing with Sparsebox. You can see kind of the same tweaks over here. Fewer tweaks, but kind of the same tweaks. So you can do this directly on the phone now. And yes, this does support iOS 17.0 all the way up to iOS 17.6.1, iOS 18 beta, 18.1 beta. It even supports iOS 16, no matter what device you have or how new it is. And these tweaks are not detectable by any jailbreak detection mechanism. As for Misaka X that was recently released, this one even allows you to get the old photos UI back on iOS 18. You can even install Troll Store with it all the way up to iOS 17.0 directly from this application and have all these tweaks enabled over here. So all these tools, Nugget, Misaka X, Mikoto X, Sparsebox and stuff like that, they all use the same mechanism behind and that is the modification of a file called Mobile Gestalt. You get that file from the device. I do have a full guide on how to save that file from the device and use it in these apps. You do that with a shortcut. It's pretty easy. And by modifying that file, you can actually enable here hidden features and features that are not normally available for your device and even tweaks and stuff like that. So it's pretty great. It's looking pretty good for the jailbreak community, especially since we seem to be moving away from doing traditional jailbreaks and more to using the iOS backups to our advantage in order to get tools like Kawabenga Lite and Misaka X and stuff like that to work. So while this exploit in here using Troll Restore is not good for jailbreak purposes, it's only for Troll Store, it did enable these applications that allow customized and enable hidden features to be created. Definitely give them a try. Modifying that file can be dangerous and can result in a boot loop if you're not careful. So do be careful and do make a backup of your device, but otherwise they should be okay and you should be able to get some hidden features and some cool stuff on your device without even being jailbroken. Thank you for watching. I am Gio Snow. Peace out.